The MFOS Echo Rocket features an external input with level control, mic line selection, and a times 51 gain buffer in mic mode. The input signal is fed to a 12 dB per octave low pass VCF with two external control voltage inputs. The output of the VCF feeds a PT2399 based echo unit. The VCF features manual cutoff frequency control, manual resonance adjust with sine oscillation capability, and LFO cutoff frequency modulation with level and tri square wave shape select. The PT2399 based echo effects feature echo volume, echo repeat, echo delay, LFO delay modulation with level and tri square wave shape select. The triangle square wave LFO features frequency and high-low range select. Finally, a square wave oscillator provides a signal source for making cool sounds with the MFOS echo rocket all by itself. Hello, this is Ray Wilson of Music from Outer Space, and I'd like to talk to you a while about the MFOS echo rocket. I really think you're going to have fun with this. You saw the block diagram already, but just physically, here's your input, mic line switch, level control, LFO frequency, high-low range, your VCF external uh, control voltage inputs, cutoff frequency, resonance, low frequency oscillator cutoff mod, and then your uh, wave shape select. For the echo, you have your echo volume, your echo delay, your echo repeat, your LFO delay modulation, and again, you can do that with square wave or triangular wave your output level, your internal oscillator frequency, and whether it is on, fed to the filter or not, and of course your power switch. So what we're going to demonstrate first is the uh, filter. And uh, right now I have the oscillator at a rather low frequency fed into the filter, and I'll bring the cutoff frequency up now. And this is with no resonance. Now, we'll go ahead and we'll advance the resonance a little bit. Well, a lot. Go about there, and we will see the difference. See, you getting that really uh, fat resonance sound. Really gets up there to about 17 kilohertz. So, what we're going to do here now is turn off the oscillator. Turn the resonance up until we get oscillation. It'll be about here. And a little more. Okay, there we go. So we can go really low with this. And really high. Okay, it goes up to about 17 kilohertz, as I said. Okay, now we can also modulate that cutoff frequency as it's oscillating with the uh, cutoff uh, modulation amount. So right now we're using the triangular wave. I have a screw over this, I can see it. But we'll go ahead up. Further, 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 further. We're really modulating this filter. Really, and then you can uh, take the LFO down to a really low rate. And uh, we'll just let this thing climb up here. At the very lowest rate, the LFO uh, takes a good while to go through one cycle. And that uh, oscillation is its a really nice sine wave, too. I think the if you take your resonance all the way up, it distorts the sine wave somewhat, so that's why I, I like to keep it at about 9. And here now we're on our way down. And uh, it takes a good while. And it'll go down to uh, sub audio, I believe. I have the modulation turned up enough.
Obi-Wan Kenobi finally turns off the tractor beam <laughs> when it gets that low. And here it comes back up. So you can see. So that it goes from that slow in the low range up to about that fast. And then in the high range, start off about there. And we can go up to uh, ring modulation. Alright, so there's our filter. Oh, I didn't do the square wave modulation. We'll do that. Okay, low range. And again, in the high range, you get some cool... modulation effects, ring modulation type effects. All right, so that's that's your filter. Now, uh, what we'll do is we'll make a little bit of, uh, we'll leave that on so we can drive the echo. Now we're going to drive the echo with a filter. Again, we haven't turned this on yet, the oscillator on yet, but we will. So let's go ahead and turn our echo volume up. Now, right now, when you're all the way down, you're at the shortest echo delay. So we'll put some repeats on so you can kind of catch that. Okay. We'll go a little. Now we'll put a little of this uh, modulation on here. So we can hear that going through the uh, echo. Just the one, two, so many that it does start to feedback. And you'll get the uh, cascading effect. And that'll fade out. Alrighty, so now we'll I'll demonstrate uh, the LFO delay modulation over here. So let's turn the uh, filter up so we can hear it. Okay, we're going to turn the LFO frequency up here. Uh, we're in low range. And now I'm going to go ahead and start to, to modulate the echo delay. can hear that. And that modulation is taking place as a result of modulating the uh, LFO delay uh, of the echo. And now we'll do it with square wave. You'll see the difference. Now there's an interesting thing that happens when you are modulating this. Now we're going to modulate the filter a little bit too. Oh no, we don't need to do that. We just want to pull this in through here. So that's the echo being modulated by the square wave. I turned this uh, LFO off of the filter ahead and on. We can start putting this one up. the oscillator up now. The oscillator, we're feeding it over to the filter. And we're still getting some modulation here. I'll turn that off. Now we'll go to the uh, triangular wave modulation of the echo delay. And again, you see you can get that kind of uh, tremolo. But if we go really slow with the oscillator frequency, the LFO frequency, excuse me, and then we bring this guy up, 
turn this down and I put the uh, resonance so that it's just and then we'll start to modulate this start to get some uh, uh, modulations that are uh, interfering with one another. With just a little change of the knob. Turn the delay all the way up. We will get the noise coming through the uh, echo. So, this is the unit just by itself, playing around with the internal oscillator. Now let's put some other uh, signals through it. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to play my guitar through the echo rocket. Um, I'm going to turn the echo all the way down. The way I've got this set up right now is with a relatively low uh, LFO frequency in the low range. I have the uh, VCF set just to push the filter uh, you know, up and with no resonance, and uh, here, you know, we're cutting off at a, a fine enough to get the guitar signal through there in a good way. I don't have any echo volume turned up yet because I want to demonstrate with and without. Now we've got a short delay, short uh, low level of repeats, and a little bit of delay modulation with the triangle wave uh, and the frequency 
low here on the alpha, as I've said. So now this is the guitar. Now that's without this uh, chorusing effect. So now I'll show you how to use this for chorus. Now we're going to turn the echo volume up. We have this set, as I said, just for a little modulation. Here's the difference. you can play with it you can get radical type sounds you can turn this to square wave turn this frequency up now let's see what we're gonna get so, so you can get weirdness back in here, turn this guy down turn this frequency back down and Chorusing effect. Okay, here we're demonstrating an electric guitar that's already going through a pedal to get some fuzz uh, tone on it. And then we're coming in here to the input and we're using the filter at this point uh, to apply. Uh, we're using square wave modulation, uh, high resonance, can, uh, cutoff frequencies, uh, just at about a, a three there. And uh, we're modulating with a, a faster LFO in square wave but also bring in the external sine wave uh, demonstrating the external control. Now we could of course also mess with the uh, echo and a nice fast echo. guitar play it through it have a blast with it it's again a lot of fun for uh, guitars I just want to demonstrate uh, demonstrate using a microphone and again you get all kind of wacky stuff as you modulate the uh, LFO delay or modulate the echo delay with the LFO there, there's no uh, modulation repeat down some Hello. So you get a long repeat. Then you can change your rate. And if you start down here, if you start down here, and then you bring it up. Go ahead. Huh? Ooh. There you go. Now you got all kind of crazy repeat going on. And uh, turn the echo up some. Turn the echo up some. Hello. 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 So, I'm sure that uh, this would have a use for your DJ types or uh, people that just like making wacky sounds. In any, In any case, case, there you go. There you go. What we're demonstrating here is putting a celeste patch through <clears throat> with uh, echo modulation. That kind of has a neat effect.
triangle wave. You can move the effect into the background, just turn it down. That's kind of neat. Uh, just playing with the echo, modulating it, it's really kind of cool. Now I'm going to demonstrate putting a keyboard through the unit. And what I've got is kind of a hard rock guitar sound, a lot of harmonics. <laughs> Again, I'm using the external uh, input uh, to the filter for control voltage to control the control voltage. With a, a sound wave, a slow sound wave. That's the one that's going up and down slowly. And then the onboard uh, low frequency oscillator is doing the square wave modulation. Let's just goof around with that a little bit. This is a demonstration of an organ uh, sound being put through and we're giving it some cutoff frequency modulation and also uh, we're giving it some echo but no echo modulation. Get some interesting sound. So, as you can see, you can do a whole lot with this unit, and I really hope you get a chance to try one out. I think you're really going to like it and have a lot of fun with it. <clears throat> and uh, that's basically that. So, again, this is Ray Wilson, uh, Music from Outer Space, uh, the Echo Rocket, and I think you're going to have fun with this thing, man. I think you're really going to enjoy it.